Hi Capricorn! I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, Luna Sync Tarot. This is your love reading for May 2019. I've already shuffled your cards, and so we can get started. Let's sync up. This is you. This is what you're contributing to your relationship. It's the Knight of Cups. This is your love interest. It's what they are contributing to the relationship or to the relating. It's the Three of Cups. This is your combined energy, the Queen of Wands. And this is what needs to be understood or integrated. It's the Eight of Wands reversed. So right off the bat, I can see here that we have a really positive reading for the most part. We have um, you in the, the place of the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is all about, wow, manifesting a dream, having a dream that you've been thinking about, you've been feeling into for a period of time, and now you're ready to take action around it. This could also be an offering of love to your love interest or some act of love in the direction of your love interest. Maybe you've shared your feelings with your love. Maybe you, um, you're making some sort of love offering. But the sense that I get because of this card, the Three of Cups, where your love interest is coming from, is that this is a dream that is about to manifest, that you're about to, to bring into reality. The Knight of Cups is very emotional, very compassionate, very humanitarian, um, engaged in the arts in some way. So it could be that you're manifesting right now a dream or a passion that you've had for quite some time and you're putting action into it in a new way. This is you. Your partner, your love interest, is willing and ready to collaborate with you around this dream. So whether you made an emotional offering to them or you extended your emotions to them in some way and they are in a position to um, receive it very well, They're, the Three of Cups is about collaboration, it's about friendship, it's about celebration. It could be that you two um, in May are about to solidify your relationship in a new way. Maybe you will um, ritualize your relationship in some way. It could be a wedding, it could be an engagement, it could be, I don't know, maybe you go to an event with one another where um, your relationship sort of gets, I don't know, it takes it to the new level in, a new level in some way. Or it could be that whatever you're dreaming here, whatever you're putting um, your energy into at this time, your partner is an integral piece of that, an integral part of that, that they're collaborating with you around this dream. And it seems to be a dream that you both share, that you share with one another. And then in your combined energies is the Queen of Wands. So this is a very passionate, creative, energetic time for the both of you. And you're both stepping into um, this Queen of Wands energy where, or when you come together, you have this sort of like spark and excitement and passion and creativity. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's mastered her energy. She knows how to use her energy very well um, to manifest what it is that she wants. Um, it could be a time of increased collaboration, increased networking. The Queen of Wands is really good at communicating, establishing connections with other people, networking so that she can leverage her, her talents, her, her energy, her skills. So, I mean, gosh, if there is a dream that you're about to put action behind, that you're about to bring into reality in a totally new way, you can't get a worse, or you can't get a better card than the Queen of Wands, um, because this is somebody who knows how to establish those connections with others and collaborate with others in order to leverage her energy to bring her her creative um, passions into reality. And this is your combined energy with your love interest. So you're both on the same page here, and you're both making those connections. You're both. Um, equally excited and passionate about this new thing that's coming into into reality here. What needs to be understood is the Eight of Wands reversed. So I think this is a um, this is an indication that while there's all of this fast moving, very exciting energy, and all of this like desire and um, what's the word? 
uh, motivation to bring this dream into reality, you might need to slow down a little bit and take your time and make sure you have all of your boxes checked and you're defining your objectives and your goals in a very sort of um, thoughtful, intentional way and taking this plan, this action, step by step by step by step. So, let's see. Do we need some clarification cards here? Um, I think I want to pull, pull a medicine, a medicine card for you. Um, that will give you some advice on how to approach this. Because we have this sort of, it's not really a warning in the Eight of Wands reversed. It's a um, recommendation. I feel like it's a recommendation to, while you feel very motivated to bring this thing like front and center and make it happen right now. I mean, that's really the, the wands energy is like, let's do this now. You know, it's very, um, it's very motivated to make things happen right away. Um, you have this recommendation to wait, this energy is very positive, but let's make sure we have all of our boxes checked, right? So what came out here is the, um, the ant. So again, we asked for some advice on how to approach this new thing that's becoming a reality for you. Um, and we got ant. So let's read a little bit about ant. It's upright. It's patience. Oh my gosh, could it get any more perfect? So yes, the recommendation is to have patience, to make sure your boxes are checked. <clears throat> Ant people have a knowing about the sweet victory at the end of the line. There's never a concern about going without if they are late for the opening of a sale. If what they want is sold out, they are sure that something equal or better is available. If you have ant medicine, you eat slowly and deliberately and are content in knowing that what is yours will come to you. This knowing is good medicine. It shows a trust in the universe to provide. If ant meandered into your spread today, it's time to show a little trust and patience in some life situation. You may have forgotten that you will always receive that which you need at the time you need it most. If it's not on the horizon or just around the next ant hill, you may need to use some strategy. How can you put to use your power of creation until it arrives, whatever it means for you at this time? Ant is working for the good of the whole. Are you? If you are, be assured that the whole wants the same goodness for you and that it will be provided. Okay, so yeah, lots of great messages there that really resonate with the Eight of Wands reversed. Another reason that you might want to slow down is so that you can get to the finish line. Sometimes when you have this high energy of the Queen of Wands, um, and the other cards combined with the Queen of Wands, it's um, easy to uh, lose your focus. It's easy to scatter your focus. And when you have your focus scattered, it takes, in the end, it takes even longer to complete each project. Each point of focus takes longer to resolve, to, to come to completion. So slow down, take your time, use some strategy, be patient so that you can get to the finish line with this dream that's coming into reality that you have um, the collaboration of your partner with. All right, let's pull, let's pull a crystal. Ah, this dream. Um, I'm curious about what this dream is that's coming into reality that you're so excited about and your partner is so excited about. Ooh, oh my gosh, rhodochrosite. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but, um, God, I love this beautiful card. Can you see that? Rotocrosite. Yeah. Um, I'm going to um, focus the, I'm going to focus this for you real quick. There we go. There we go. I just bought a piece of this and it came in the mail like the other day. Um, let me put this down and, and refocus. It's a really small piece. Um, see that? And it's not as vibrant as the picture, but it's, a uh, it's pretty nonetheless. Yeah, I just got it. So let's read about it. Because it has a message for you in, 
in achieving your dream. It has a message about your dream. It's 45. The Heart Reviver. That's what it's called. Rotocrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down, dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns. It offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or an unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates dis-ease. Or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Divination. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. Healing insight. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. The frequency is high. The chakra is the heart, the solar plexus, the base, and the sacral. The timing is summer. Ooh, so that might have a, a special meaning. Maybe this dream will come into reality in the summer. And the soul path is radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. So I don't know if the history of sexual or emotional abuse or feeling alienated, unloved, or appreciated has a special message for someone. Um, there seems to be like this, um, it talks a lot about repressing these uh, feelings that you don't necessarily want to face, but I don't get a sense that that's happening here. And if it, if it was... Uh, relevant for you at one point it seems to have been resolved or there seems to have been some sort of um, success around resolving those feelings because the knight of cups is somebody who's very in touch with their emotions um, and willing to be motivated by those emotions in a very positive forthright way rotocrosite it's so pretty it's such a pretty stone so take that how it resonates for you. Um, let's pull a few other cards because we have some time left. We have like seven minutes left. Let's, um, let's talk a little bit, since this is a love reading for May, let's talk a little bit about how your love interest feels about you. What's the chemistry like between you and your love interest? Ooh, we have a five of pentacles. Dang. That is a super um, romantic, like idealistic, romantic um, card in terms of imagery. Like this is um, the traditional romantic. This is like traditionally romantic. Look, they're on a balcony. There's a violin. They're embracing one another in this passionate kiss. Um, he's pretty hunky. And she's quite beautiful, and they're surrounded by roses and a, a, a beautiful blue sky in the background. Yeah, they think that you are like the, um, how do you say it? Like, um, like the ultimate catch, like the ultimate romantic union. Um, very romantic, very passionate. Um... That's what they think about you. That's the how they're experiencing the chemistry with you. Let's see how you feel about them. I feel like you're taking this relationship to the next level. Capricorn. Chase. Okay, how do you feel about them? What's the chemistry like from your end with your love interest? <clears throat> This is the Tarot of Sexual Magic. I've been having a good time with this one. How do you feel about them? They think you're like the ultimate romantic partner. Ooh, the Emperor fell out. This is how you feel about them. Either you see them as somebody who is, let me focus in on this. You see this as some, you see them as the emperor in your life. Um, the emperor, and I'll just talk a little bit about the qualities that the emperor possesses. 
The emperor is somebody who's older, um, has a lot of experience, life experience, and has distilled that life experience into great wisdom. They often are leaders in their industry or leaders in their fields. They lead others. They bring that wisdom into their role and into their responsibilities, or that wisdom informs their role in a really um, solid, stable way. Um, they are good at collaborating with others, like your love interest here wants to collaborate with you, but they prefer to make the final decision. They are the, um, I don't know, they're the boss. You see them as having boss energy. Um, that's pretty sexy. Cool. All right. Um, should we pull any other cards? What else do we have here? Should we clarify anything? This is a pretty quick reading. Um, everything was really, really clear. Let's, let's pull some cards, just a few more cards around the, the recommendation, the Eight of Pentacles, and that was to slow down, have some patience, use some strategy in achieving this goal. I'd like to know what this dream is about. What's happening here? What is this dream all about? This coming into fruition that you're putting action behind and bringing into reality with your love interest. What is this all about, my friend? Um, I just did a weekend reading. I do these weekend readings on Instagram and they're like 10 minute, quick 10 minute readings for all of the signs for each weekend. I call it TGIF Tarot. And I did a uh, weekend reading just this past Friday and Capricorn got the sun, um, which is, it's like the best card in the deck. And it's like the, the card that you want as you're entering your weekend, right? Energy, enthusiasm, playing with others in community. Um, what's this dream about though? Let's pull some Osho Zen cards to share with us a little bit more about this dream. And these cards are not wanting wanting to pop out. Compromise. Ooh. Compromise. Interesting. You know, compromise is, um, this is typically the six of uh, pentacles in a traditional deck. It's about the, it's about the, um, it's about an exchange of energy. So, it's about charity. It's about generosity. It's also about making sure that there's balance in your exchange of energy with others. So making sure that you're not giving too much, making sure that you are open to receive and keeping that cycle of generosity and energy exchange open so that there's giving, receiving, you're replenishing, then you're, you're outputting, you're sharing, and then you're replenishing, and then you're sharing and you're replenishing. <clears throat> This new thing, this new dream, also this card also has to do um, with uh, physical healing. So some sort of, um, gosh, some sort of healing that involves your body or your energy or your chakras. Um, it, it often comes with a recommendation to re get a massage, to re receive some sort of healing, Reiki healing, some sort of um, chakra alignment. Let's learn a little bit more about the stream before we move on. Let's keep pulling from the Osho Zen deck. Ooh, hey, what was I saying about healing? There might be some sort of special message there for somebody that this new dream will require a energetic healing or a physical healing in some way or will be leading you down the path to that. Well, um, Capricorns, I hope you have a beautiful spring. This was your love reading for May. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Lunasync. Have a beautiful week.